wanna give you a solution. But right now, today, that time is up. There's no more giving you lies. We're not African. We're not black. We're not Jamaican. We're from the 12 tribes of Israel. And it's not the Bible. And it's not the only way for the priest. Christianity is a damn So we're supposed to give a warning. We're not judging you, we're warning you. What have we seen any change? Yeah. Have we seen anything that has changed our people? Changed our neighborhood? Stop keeping God's laws as commandments. You understand? We as a people are not loving our neighbor as ourselves. You got a question, brother? What's up? Exactly. We, should, we, we, we need to have a goal to get out of here. But we can only get out if we do one thing. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7. 7 verse 3. Because we went into bondage, we went into uh, slavery, these curses fell upon us because what? We broke God's laws, that's commandments, right? Now, to get out of this place, like you said, we should have a goal to get out of the place, out of this place, right? That's right. We need to start keeping God's laws, that's the commandments. That's right. If we need, if we as a people want to get out of America or Babylon the Great and return to our own place, we as a people need to start keeping God's laws, that's the commandments. And this is one of the, one. This is one of God's uh, laws, commandments that we need to keep. Right. That's you, brother. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. So the Most High God is specifically speaking to you now. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages. Do what? Make marriages with them. With who? With them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. So we're going to find out who this them is. Read. For they will turn away thy son from following me. So we were not supposed to make marriages with certain certain nations, other, all the other nations, period. Because we they would uh, remove our, us from... Um, us from the law says the commandments of the Most High God. Start, start up, start up. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 1. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, and have cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Girgashites. So we came out of Egypt and went to our own land and cast those people out of the land. And these are the people, these other nations that were cast out of the land. Read. And the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebus Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. To sum it up, all other nations besides Israel. Read. Besides the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you see on this board, all other nations. Read. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. So that was, was what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to smite them, get them out, get them out of the land, and take the land for ourselves. Come on. Thou shalt make no covenant with them. Thou shalt do not make no covenant. Covenant means a promise or agreement. We weren't supposed to make no agreements with them, period. Read. Nor to mercy unto them. Neither shalt thou make marriages. Make what? Make marriages. Make what? Make marriages. Make what? Make marriages with them. We were not supposed to marry any of the other nations. Period. This is the law of the Most High God. You want to get out of this? You want to get out of this situation? You need to keep this right here. Read it again. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. You were not supposed to make marriages with none of the other nations. All right? We were we were supposed to stay amongst our people, period. We are, we are a separate people, a chosen people. We were not supposed to mingle ourselves with none of the other nations. Come on. Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. Beware of all 
Hold them. It says beware of what? All hold them. Let's find out what the hold them is. What, what's your name, brother? Timothy, you understand what he's saying? You understand what he's bringing up? What's he bringing up? So, let me ask you, because he, he just put a scripture, Deuteronomy 7. You understand what he was doing? He's ready, so I'm going to show you. Just in case I've never seen him. Wait a minute, let us know so we know you understand. Huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Let, let us know, man. Let us know. Go ahead. Don't be scared, man. We your brothers. It's the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. Waters. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. So called. Hold that sound. Hold that sound. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are not supposed to go outside the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Go ahead. There's no such thing as an eating my name as well. Watch this. Get, get some rock, chapter 12. Get some rock, 12. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. What's it, Jason? Tim Damn, why well, I said Jason? Timothy. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Timothy, Timothy. Sirach so chapter 12 and verse 6, 10. Watch this. There's no such thing as an Edomite that means well. Watch this. Sirach so chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. God says, never trust your enemy. Never is never. Ever. Your enemies are the people that sold you in slavery. Right. Not only the white man, the Chinese man, the Japanese man. All the other tribes, all the other nations of people outside of your nation are your enemies. That's God right. says, never trust them. This is why. Right? For like and so is his wickedness. How long does it take iron to rust? It can take a day. It can take a week. It can take six months. It can take a year. God says, your enemies are like that piece of iron. Eventually, it will rust. Eventually, she will show that she hates you. Eventually. Watch, read. Though he humble himself, though they humble themselves, they seem righteous to you. They seem like they're good people. Read. They go crouch. Yet. They go crouch. I mean, they bow down to you. Read. Yet take good. Yet take good. He, I says, listen good. Even though they may seem righteous, listen good, Timothy. Read. That's right. And beware. And beware. Cautious. Read. Of him. God says, beware of him. Watch this. We don't. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that it's right. Have not been all together wiped away. God says that their rust will never be clean. They will never be wiped away of their sins, of the wickedness that they've done to us. It will never be wiped away. Tell before I what you got? It's natural. Let, let's get it in Habakkuk. Habakkuk, yep. Their wickedness is inbred in them right. from birth. Right. Watch this. Habakkuk, was it 2 and 8, 2 and 12? 2 and 4. Habakkuk 2, verse 4. That's not it? You got it? All right. Let's get it. Oh, let's find it first. I know it's 2 and 8, right? Yeah. 2 and 4. Yeah, 2 and 4. Yep. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul. Talking about Esau. Esau's soul. Read. Which is lifted up is not upright in him. Says his spirit is not right. They're embedded to do that. I'm going to show you something. Hold that sign up. Hold that sign up. For you to do these atrocities, some of you ain't right. <laughs> for, for you to be able to grab a baby by the legs and smash them against the rocks, your spirit ain't right, man. For you to be able to hang hang our, our Native American brothers by the twelves 
right. by the twelve to to, uh, to resemble the twelve disciples of Christ and hang them over burning firewood. You ain't right. right. Their spirit is not right in them, and eventually it will show. Right. Eventually, you piss her off hard enough. She will call you a nigga. That's right. You a nigga. You a boy. You need me. It happens every time. That's why That's why these athletes, these black athletes, you see what happens when they mess up. They mess up one time, it's done. It's over. I'm taking half of your, of your earnings. Right. Weight charges. That's facts. That's because eventually, the rust will never be clean. It will always show. It will always come back. That's why God says don't make marriages with them. Don't sleep with them. Right. Don't be with them. Right. You got beautiful Israelite sisters. Okay. The most beautifulest women on the earth That's are right. Israelites. That's right. You want them light skin? We got them light skin. Right. You want them dark skin? We got them dark skin. You want them, you want them uh, 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 voluptuous? We got them voluptuous. Right. You want them skinny? We got them skinny. Right. The most I gave you everything you need for you to keep the laws. Those, uh, tell me from 12. You understand? Let me, I'm going to ask you a question. Y'all together? Okay. Tell me from 12. Watch this. The book of Tobit, chapter 4, and verse 12. Beware of all whoredom. I says beware of whoredom. Read. My son, and chiefly, and mainly, take a wife, take a wife, of the seed of thy father. The fathers are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. God says take a wife of the people of your fathers. The people of your father, the blacks, is present in America. And take not a strange woman. God says these other nations, they're strange. The Chinese woman, the white woman, the Japanese woman, God says they are strange. Do not take them. Right? To wife, which is not of thy father's tribe. Which is not of thy father's tribe. Go ahead. The white man was created in Genesis 25. From Jacob. I mean, I'm sorry, from Isaac. Isaac. Isaac had two sons, Esau and Jacob. Absolutely. It was already embedded in them. Watch this, Romans 9. Romans 9. It was already in them. It was already in them. He, 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 watch this. We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Romans 9. Romans 9, 13. Romans chapter 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved. You see? You see? You see, <laughs> you see that, right? Don't just say, I, I don't want to listen to this shit. You see that, right? How is this shit when we tell you the greatest people on the earth? How, watch that, watch your foot. How is this shit when we telling you, Timothy, you're the greatest people on the earth? And she said, I don't want to listen to this shit. That's rust. That rust will always show. They will always show their wickedness, bro. That's facts. If she was righteous, if she was one of the righteous ones, she would say, you know what, babe? You are the greatest people on the earth. You know what, babe? God does love you. You know what, babe? I love you so much, I'm going to bow down to you because you are God on the earth. That's what a righteous one would say. Prove it to you, Timothy. There is no such thing as a righteous Edomite. There is no such thing as a righteous strange woman. Because if she was, she wouldn't have said she wouldn't listen to this shit. Well, this is your history we bring it up. Your history is shit to her. You need to reevaluate what you want. Read that. As it is written, Jacob, have I loved. God says Jacob, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Jacob has God loved. But Esau, Esau is the so-called white man. Read. Hey, I hate it. God says he hated Esau. Read on. What shall we say then? Is there a righteousness with God? So who are we to say right? God is unrighteousness for making uh, a nation of people that he hates? God ain't unrighteous. We don't. We gonna see why he did it. God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. God says I did it because I can do what the hell I want to do. Right. If I want to make a, a nation of people wicked, I'm gonna do that because I'm God. I do what I want to do. Right. You know. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Get, get, uh, start at verse 11. What does that say? Let me see. Yep. 
What's this? Romans chapter 9, verse 11. For the children being not yet born. God says Abraham, uh, uh, Esau and Jacob wasn't even born yet. Read. Neither have we done any good or evil. God says Esau ain't never ain't even done evil yet. Read. That the purpose, the what? The purpose, the reason of God according to election might stand. So God says, I did, I chose Jacob because that was my elect. Right. According to my election, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that was my elect. I didn't choose Esau because Esau wasn't of the promise. Esau wasn't my elect. That's why I hate Esau. It got, get Malachi 1 and 4. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something, uh, Timothy. You're sleeping with somebody God hates. I don't know if I, I wouldn't want to be on that hit list. <laughs> you sleep with somebody God hates. Watch this, read. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Where's Edom? Say it. Edom is a so-called white man. We are impoverished, but we will return. Talking about the, uh, the uh, what is it, the Renaissance. The Renaissance, when they returned, they called it the rebirth. Right. Read. It built the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hope. I said who? The Lord of hope. So this is God's words right here, Timothy. Read. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. The border is the beginning. If I, when God says, you shall put a ribbon of blue on the border of your garments, that means at the beginning of your garment. God says they are the beginning of of wickedness. God says they be, they are the beginning of wickedness. They are the worst wickedness of all the nations. That's why in every country, what they do are trying to take over. They they over there trying to uh, 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 put right, push their policies. Take the oil, take the money, kill everybody else because they don't want to stand for America. They're in every country putting in dirt. God says they're the border of wickedness. Read on. And the people. It's not just Edom, Esau. God says it's his whole, it's people. His gene, right, his lineage, his genealogy. Read. The people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. What is indignation, Timothy? Indignation is anger. Anger. God says he has anger towards those people for how long? Forever. Forever. God says he hates those people forever. Why? Because he's a guy. He can do what he want to do. Right. Because it was according to the election. That's right. So get, uh, 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 what, 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 what did you get? Oh, get, get, uh, uh, Acts 3. Get Acts 3. Repent. Timothy, you got to repent. Now, now, I want you to really understand. I'm going to go back to what your girl said. Okay. So she don't know who her father is. She could be okay. She could be mixed. She could be mixed. But I'm gonna tell you, she know who her father is. I'm gonna tell you what she labeled herself as: white woman. I guarantee. You. Am I lying? Am I wrong? Am I lying? That's how I know. Because if she didn't know, if she wasn't guaranteed she was white, she wouldn't have just did what she just did. Remember, it says their spirit. Their spirit is not upright in them. Her spirit knows who she is. That's right. If she didn't know who she was, she'd have been like, oh, that ain't talking about me. I could be mixed. I love I love this man. I, I could be one of the righteous. But her spirit caused her to show you who she was. She's an Edomite. That's right. Her spirit showed you. I don't want to listen to this shit. If she didn't know who she was, she wouldn't have called this shit. But she knows. She knows she her spirit knew she was Esau. That's why she said your history is shit. Read that. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent, you therefore, and be converted. You gotta repent, Timothy. You gotta repent, bro. If you love God, you gotta repent. You gotta change. That's right. And it starts with you, and then it trickles down. Read on. And be converted. What does convert mean? To change. So what is gonna change you? Go ahead, Timothy. Let us know. We all brothers, man. We we your brothers up here. That's right. And we gonna cut it to you straight, cause I wouldn't want somebody to tell me straight when I'm when I'm falling off. So what changes us?
Evidence of what? Hey, you, you know what? I like that. I like that. Evidence that this message is precise. The evidence is history. The evidence is history. You went through this history. God says his people would go through this. That's evidence. But here's what changes you furthermore. Read. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. The law, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So God says his laws is what changes you. If I know I can't sleep with uh, different women, God says thou should not, damn, let me change. I know I can't sell dope to my brothers, God says thou should not, damn, let me change that. So in order to change, you got to stop doing what your body want to do. You gotta stop giving in to your lust. Right. Let me tell you, I, I, our brothers love white women for some reason. I don't understand, but our brothers love that. But God says, thou shalt not. God says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. So if you really love God, you would really, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? You would really uh, examine, there we go. You'd really examine yourself. Examine yourself. Damn, am I doing everything that's pleasing to the Father? Am I doing everything that's going to get me into the heaven, uh, to the kingdom of heaven? Am I doing everything that God told me to do? And I know it's going to be tough. It's going to be rough. You know what I'm saying? You've probably been living like this for a long time. It's going to be rough at first. But that's why you got to be continually with a godly man. You got to be on this side with us, teaching God's laws, keeping God's laws. We do Acts chapter 3 verse 19 Repent ye therefore And be converted That your sin That your sins Because that's a sin Sleeping with other nations Hell sleeping with anybody Outside of marriage is a sin But furthermore God says You ain't supposed to be Even be married in these nations That's a sin We don't May be blotted out It says if you want your sins To be blotted out Means erased You gotta repent You gotta repent And keep God's laws That's the only way You're gonna make it bro that's the only way you're going to make it. You understand? The Apocrypha was in the Bible, King James Version, 1611, but they took it out. They took it out because in the, in, 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 uh, in, um, in, uh, what you got? Yep. Because in the Apocrypha, it explains a captivity that they don't want us to know about. The Greeks. And the Greek, when you learn about the Greek captivity, it sums up everything. Everything's clear in the New Testament. It's just like opening, opening a Harry Potter book and starting from the middle. Will you understand? You won't understand. And that's what they did to us. They took out the, the Apocrypha and told us, start from the old, from the New Testament. So then when we read the New Testament, we see Gentiles. We see for God so loved the world, we think that that's talking about everybody. But when the Apocrypha is implemented and you understand what happened to us in the Greek captivity, the New Testament makes so much sense. So they took that out to confuse us. What is what verse? Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes. John 3.16 is not talking about everybody. You got Numa. Right. The word world means many things. Cosmos. You got the animal world. You got the medical world. You got the word of the Jews. You got the, the, the third world. Uh, uh, first world, you know they say, you ever heard of third world countries? Second world? Letting you know that the word world means different, many different definitions. Read Hebrews 1 and 1. The, the word world is many different definitions. Watch this, Hebrews 1 and 1. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. God, who has sons returned, and in diverse manners, Spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Well, it says God spoke to us in the past through the prophets. Read. Hath in these last days, these last days right now, spoken unto us by his son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world, the world, W O R L D S, the worlds. Let us know is many different definitions of the word world. Let's get John chapter 3 verse, uh, let's read verse 16, get right to it. John 3 16, right. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So this is what we was taught to do. We was taught to close the Bible after that verse. We was taught to never investigate that whole chapter. Because when you read up in the chapter, verse 14. Verse 14. That's why we got to read the whole chapter. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Who was in the wilderness with Moses? Yeah, he was there too. But who else? Remember, Moses brought who out of Egypt? The Israelites. Remember they walked they walked through the Red Sea, Moses parted the sea. Yeah, they were yeah, yeah, they, they were slaves in Egypt, but they were the Israelites. Moses delivered the Israelites out of Egypt. Read that again. And as Moses lifted up the serpent. It says as Moses lifted up the serpent. He lifted up the serpent in the wilderness to the Israelites. The most high was sending fiery serpents to the Israelites to kill them. So Moses had to lift up a, 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 a staff with a snake around it. So when the Israelites look on it, they'll be saved. Right. So it says, just like Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness to the Israelites to be saved. Read. Even so. Just like Moses did. Even so. Must the son of man. Who's the son of man? Yeah, but in this this context is talking about Christ. It says, just like Moses lifted up the serpent to the Israelites, even so the Son of Man, which is Christ, must be lifted up. Christ must be lifted up to the Israelites, just like Moses did. We know that whosoever believeth in him. So now it says that whosoever. Let's get Acts two twenty one. Come on, stay with me. Acts chapter two verse twenty one. We're going to show you what whosoever means. Read on. Acts chapter 2 verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel. That's right. Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. Who are the disciples talking to right there? When they said it shall come to pass that whosoever calls on the name shall be saved. He was talking to the Israelites. Whosoever of Israel. If I'm, I'm a father, I got three sons. And every morning I tell them, hey, whosoever one of y'all that want some cookies, can go get some cookies out of the refrigerator. Somebody breaks in my house. Is the whosoever talking about them? Why not? I was directing my message to my three sons. God is directing his message to the Israelites. So when somebody comes in and, and infiltrates our word, they read whosoever and they think the whosoever talking about them. When it can't be. Because the message of whosoever was talking to the Israelites. So when it says whosoever is talking about whosoever of Israel. We don't. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Eternal life is only for Israel. Read. For God so loved the world. Let's deal with that. Let's deal with the word world. John 18 and 20. Watch this. The word world is talking about Israel. We're going to prove that though, Timothy. We're going to prove that. John 18 and 20. Come on. John chapter 18, verse 20. He already got that thought. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. Jesus Christ says, I speak openly to the world. Let's see what word he's talking about. I ever talk. I always talk. The people who he spake to, he always talked to them. In the synagogue. In the synagogue. And in the temple. Whether the Jews always resort. Who did Christ always teach in the synagogue? Who did Christ always teach in the temple? Speaking to you right now. Jesus. Right. So read the beginning again. John chapter 18, verse 20. Jesus answered him. I speak openly to the world. So who's the world that Jesus is talking about? Talk about the Jews. Talk about the Israelites. Hold on one second. Let me let this go back. Oh, you 
absolutely right they know. Oh yeah, you know how I know they know? They don't believe in Christ. They don't only believe in the Bible. Because they know in the Bible, it says Christ was black. In the Bible, it said that the Israelites were going to slavery on slave ships. Name me one time the Jewish man went into slavery on slave ships. Never happened. That's not in the Bible. They know. They know they're not the real people. Oh, you best believe it. Oh, watch this. Revelation 2 and 9. You better believe it to uh, Timothy. Revelation chapter 2 verse 9. You know, I know thy works. Christ say, I know your works. And tribulation. We're the only people going through tribulation. The blacks and Spanish and Native Indians. We're the only people on the earth that's going through trouble. God, Christ say, I know you're going through trouble. Read on. And poverty. And poverty. We're the only people that's going through poverty. Read. As a, as a nation of people. Read. But thou art rich. God says you're rich because the, the blessings belong to you. The commandments, the covenants belong to you. Watch this. And that's for me. What is a blasphemy? What is blasphemy? All right, but what does blasphemy mean? It means a detestable lie, a disgusting lie, a blasphemy. Read it again. The book of uh, the book of Revelation, chapter two, verse nine. I know thy works and tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them. I know the detestable lie of them, which say they are true. So God, Christ say it's a certain people on the earth that saying they the Jews. Are we saying we the Jews? I didn't say we were the Jews. When I when I was in high school, I wasn't walking around saying I'm a Jew. My, none of my family would walk around saying they were the Jews. Right. You never heard you was a Jew. Right. So who are the people that's calling themselves Jews? Yes. Yes, Timothy, that's what we're trying to get to you. This is serious, man. Oh, oh yeah, you better believe it. This is, hey, I'm telling you, Timothy, this is the real deal, man. This Bible is not a fairy tale. This Bible is your history. And it's full of prophecies. That's why you got to get right. You got to get your mind right and study this thing. Because we've been taught that it's just a fairy tale. When this Bible is everything you could ever think of. Read that for, uh, last part again. And I know that work and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not I say I know it's people that's claiming to be you but they really not the Jews what do they call themselves say that again Jewish what does I say to you so are they the real thing you better believe it Jewish is not the nationality in the Bible if I say, hey, Timothy, I'm coming Because I'm going to tell you, they're, they're, they're the devil. They're the devil, Timothy, I'm telling you. They infiltrated our, but watch this, get Luke 21 24. Let me show you something. Let me show Luke 21 24. Watch this. Luke 21 24. The book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 24. And they shall fall by the what, edge of the sword. Christ said that the Israelites talking 70 AD. When the when Rome come past Jerusalem, destroyed Jerusalem, destroyed the temple over. It says they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Talking about the Jews, right? And shall be led away captive into all nations. So it said the Israelites that's left there is gonna be scattered in the captivity, right? And Jerusalem shall be trodden down. Jerusalem shall be walked on or inhabited by of the Gentiles. So Christ said the people in Jerusalem wasn't even going to be the real people. It was going to be Gentiles because the real Israelites will be scattered in slavery. So the real Israelites wouldn't be in Jerusalem today. Wouldn't be in Israel today. They are Gentiles. They are not the real people. Get, out, get Jeremiah 14 to 2. Get Jeremiah 14 to 2. You are the real Jew. They ain't the real Jew. Nobody say I'm Jewish. They converts. They converted to Judaism. <laughs> hey, they had no choice. They had no. They, they couldn't stop this. There's no way they could have stopped this. I'm gonna tell you the, 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 the two greatest things that they ever could have done. The two. 
greatest uh, mistakes that they ever could have done was let us read. Let us read. That's one of the two. They should have never let us get a hold, hold to the Bible. Because now that we know how to read now, we know how to count now, we know how to put two and two together, now the word of God is being represented on another level that has never been represented on. Oh, you absolutely. Oh, you absolutely. Watch this. Uh, it's 80, I say uh, Psalms 83. Psalms 83. You better believe it. No, you better believe it. They knew who we were. You better believe it. Watch this. Psalms 83. Show you. The book. They knew who they were. You know how they knew? Do you know the Chinese have more pop, more people on the earth than any other nation on the earth? The Chinese. So why didn't they don't get them? Why didn't they take them into slavery? Why didn't they take uh, uh, the Russians into slavery? Why didn't they go to Britain and take them into slavery? Why didn't they go to Northern Nation and take them into slavery? But they came and got us. Because they knew that we were God's chosen people. That's right. They knew that. They knew that already. They knew we were the strongest. Watch this. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 83, verse 3. Bring it out. They have taken crafty counsel. God says, these nations that we're about to go over has taken crafty counsel. Read up. Against thy people. Against thy people. The blacks and Spanish and Native Indians. We. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said. They. They. Many more than one. They have said. Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So the Bible said that these nations came together. In these EU meetings, in these, you know, these uh, world, what do you call them? World, these uh, world meetings. Right, right. United Nations. They came together and said, what? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So they said, come. Let us cut them off. Say what? Right. They, they, they said, come, let us cut us off. Let's call them African American. Let's call them Haitian. Let's call them Hispanic. Let's ship them throughout the four corners of the earth so that they don't know who they are anymore. These nations know, man. That's why they spend so much money. Do you know? Do you know what the war is about in the Middle East? Why there's so much fighting? No. And it burns, yeah, because the economic system is supposed to collapse, but it's related based on the why are they fighting in the Middle East? Why are they fighting? Why is Israel and Palestine fighting right now? Where did it stem from? It didn't stem from, remember, remember, it didn't stem from money. It didn't stem from gold. It stemmed from who has the uh, uh, the response, what is it? Who, who has the right to the land of Israel? That's what it stemmed from. Because when we left, when we were scattered, Palestine took over. And then when the Jews in World War II when they, when, when they was granted the land of Israel in 1944, they was given that land. They was given that land by the United Nations, right? So what? Right, right. It became a state in 1944. They was given that land. So they that, they, they pushed out the, Palis the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Palestinians, and that's why they fighting. They fighting because of you. They fight because we are not in that land. So they want the land. If Israel like, no, it's our land. The Palestinians, no, it's our land. And they fighting for a land that don't belongs to none of them. That's where it stems from. A visit, what's your visitation? You are, you are like the soul of wisdom man, and understanding. Psalms 1 out of 10. That's your breath, that's your breath. Yeah, 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 come around, brother. Come around. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. This is how you get a visitation, Timothy. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. First, you got to fear God. You got to fear God, keep his commandments, right? A good understanding. A good understanding of the Bible. A good understanding of God. Have all day. First thing you got to get into your brain is, I got to do God's commandments. If 
I want to be visited by the Most High, if I want wisdom and, and understanding to be bestowed unto me, I have to keep God's commandments. That's why the brother went early about interracial marriage. But it goes deeper than that. T today's the Sabbath day. You got to keep the Sabbath day. You got to uh, 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 come together. You got to wear your fringes. You can't shave your beard off. All these things will get you connected with the Father. If you really want to be connected, you got to keep God's commandments. That's, that's point blank, period. You understand? If that's what you really want, bro, I'm telling you, get uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. Get 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. If this is what you really want, Timothy, this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 13 and verse 5. Examine yourself. You got to examine yourself. You got to look at yourself and say, damn, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I keeping God's commandments? Am I, am, am, am I trying to, to fight these temptations, these urges, this lust that I have? Examine yourself, right? Whether you be in the faith. Examine yourself onto whether you really are worshiping God in spirit and truth. Examine yourself, right? Prove your own self. So God says you got to prove your own self. Right, you got to prove yourself to him. If you do this, I'll do the rest. But you have to keep God's commandments. You have to repent and keep God's commandments. As an Israelite man from the tribe of Benjamin. Not as a Jamaican. Not as a West Indian. Not as a black. Not as a nigga. But as an Israelite man. Because that's who you are. The most I ain't coming back. Christ ain't coming back from no Jamaicans. Christ ain't coming back for no black man. Christ coming back for the Israelites. That's right. And if you ain't keeping his commandments when he come back, you're going to be walking charcoal. You're going to be put to damn death. And I don't want that for you, Timothy. I want, that, I, I want life for you, just like I want life for me and my brothers. But if you don't repent, you will die. That's the reality. If you really want to be in tune with the Most High, keep his commandments, bro. You never go wrong. All right? All, all praises, bro. All praises. Hey, call that number on that flyer, man. I'm telling you, now when you go home, you're going to deal with some stuff. I see it already. I'm telling you, bro. Just like iron rusted, so shall they wickedness. All right? All right, bro. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.